Well, this weather today is in stark contrast to what it was yesterday. When I got here last night, or yesterday afternoon, it was, it was horrible. There was a northerly wind blowing, absolutely freezing cold, and we had a couple of biblical showers. You know, I'm talking hailstorms and the whole lot, it was horrible. And then to top it all off, there was a frost last night, which is the first one I've seen while I've been fishing since March. So it was, uh, the weather certainly has turned and it's, it's, it's feeling like winter, but today's a different story. You know, the sun's come out, most of this morning's been lovely and sunny, we've just got a bit of cloud cover now, and uh, things have changed. Um, but I was expecting a fish last night, I really was. Um, there are a few fish showing near me, uh, all around the area, all night. I got woke up in the night a couple of times by, by a couple of fish crashing. I thought, it's gonna happen, it's really gonna happen. But it didn't. Nothing at all last night, woke up this morning to bright sunshine. It's about eight, nine o'clock, I thought, yeah, chance has gone now. And then about half past nine, I got a beep on my right hand rod. And I thought, hmm, what was that? That was a bit weird, that was out of the blue, there's no wind or nothing. So I went down and checked it, watched the rod tip, watched the weather line hit the water, no vibration, nothing. So I sat back down again, and about 15 minutes later, I got another beep on the same rod. Went back down again, couldn't see anything moving, couldn't see anything happening. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna pick it up and see what's happening. Picked it up, wound it a bit of slack, fish on the end, <laughs> couldn't believe it. You know, I've, I've, I've waited a long time for that. You know, I've, I've, the last three weeks have all been blanks. I've been really, really struggling. Um, and I've tried several different things um, to catch and it's just not happened for me. You know, September was really kind. I was getting about a fish per night uh, and, and catching really, really well. But three weeks ago, I just hit a brick wall. I just can't get a bite. So uh, really been struggling. So when I actually finally up to fish, I was really pleased. Um, took me a bit of a, Bit of a merry old dance, I had to get my waders on to get in there after it. Uh, but once I got it in the net, I was over the moon. Well, it's been a while since I've held one of these up. I think I've done three weeks on the bounce without a, a bite or anything, so uh, it's nice to finally get one up and hold one up for the cameras. Um, this one wasn't the biggest in the world. In fact, it's the smallest one I've had from here, to be honest, at 23.12, but uh, really, really pleased to catch a, catch a mid-20. If you can call a 23.12 a mid-20, well, I am anyway. So yeah, really pleased with this one. And this has boosted my confidence no end, to the point where I think I'll probably get another one now. Well, I hope so anyway, but uh, I better go and get the rod back out. Now, what was I saying about feeling confident? I go and catch one, then I go and catch another. It's funny, isn't it, sometimes, how you, you struggle for ages and ages, and then all of a sudden you sort of work things out and piece a few things together and you change a couple of little things, and it all pans out. So, really happy. Don't know how big he is, he doesn't look massive, but I'm going to get him on the scales and uh, lift him up. Oh, and uh, just while I'm chatting, me and this little fella have just had a fallout. We've uh, just walked up the bank a little bit and he ran off. And I found him rolling in a fish carcass that was about six weeks old. So he absolutely stinks. So he's been in the lake twice and I've scrubbed him down with a bit of grass and now he's just feeling sorry for himself. He deserves everything he gets. And if he doesn't start sm smelling a bit better later, you might not have a bed sleeping tonight because you ain't coming in the bivvy when you stink. Sorry, mate. <laughs> look at his best adorable look, trying to look cold and sorry for himself. Yeah, you know what you've done, don't you? Well, I've just weighed that fish and done the photos and it turned out to be the smallest fish I've had from here again. Uh, 22, 12. So, but still, I'm catching and that's, that's the main thing. And it's, uh, yeah, it's great to be having a few, uh, even if it's not the biggest, but, um, let me just show you the mix that I'm using. Because it's getting a bit wintry now, I've, I've come away from the boilie. Uh, I use boilie pretty much nine months of the year and that's, that's all I use. Um, but now that it's, uh, it's getting cold, this is what I, I tend to switch to a little bit. It's a mixture of corn, hemp uh, and boilie. I've got in here the cell, which is a great all round winter bait. And the dog's trying to get some because you can smell it, can't you? Uh, the cell is a great all round winter bait. And I also use one called the, uh, the pink one or whatever it's called, I don't know, it's a prototype. But that is my winter mix and I love it. I've also got a few maggots as well, but I keep them separately. You know, if I put them in here in the wet mix, they'll be crawling everywhere because it's soaking wet. So that is what I've been catching on. Here's the rig I've been using. It's a big size five cog lead. The fish are really, really finicky in here and most of the bites are like that first one, just, just a couple of beeps, really, really cagey. In fact, I've only had one screamer and that was the 22 I've just had whereas every else has just tightened me up slightly or gave me a little drop back or done something. So I've switched to these cogs just so they've got the weight straight away, straight off the lead, no messing around. And uh, hopefully that's gonna do the trick for me. It's doing okay so far. Um, 
and then it's to a short six inch dark matter hook link. It's quite a supple hook link, but it's quite heavy and sinks. And then on the business end, I've got a little fake maggot doing a liner liner. And then I've got a trim down cell pop up and a few maggots tipped over the top. And that will actually sit just like that. So it will just be cocked. And when the fish approach it from above, they'll just see the maggots there crawling from the top and a little bit of bait. And uh, they're the little changes that I've, I've done this session and that's what's working for me. So uh, hopefully I might get another one. After getting that rod back out last night, conditions changed completely. Gone with the flat calm conditions that I was spotting out in and casting out in. And they were replaced by this cold, northerly wind. And it really was cold as well. It, it felt absolutely bolted last night before I got into bed. Um, and the fish seemed to respond in kind um, because I haven't seen another show since just before I caught that second fish. Um, and it really has been a session of two halves. You know, the first 24 hours of the session, the fish were really active, showing everywhere in the lake, showing in my own margins, showing on the far margins, out in the middle, that they, they were just active everywhere. And I was getting liners as well. Um, so the fish really were about and really were active. But since that wind's kicked in, they've, they've just seemed to have gone to ground. Um, I mean, I can see two thirds of the lake here and I haven't seen a single fish. Um, there is a chance they could have moved down to the shallow end behind the island and, and gone down that way, which, which they may have done. But for whatever reason, I don't think there's a great deal of fish in front of me now. Um, so uh, the second half hasn't reaped any fish whatsoever. So it's time to pack up now and get home and get the dog home because the dog absolutely stinks. You know, he's, he's, he's still reeking of, of rotting fish, even though I've washed him a few times and done my best to get that smell off him. He's, he's terrible. And the bivvy stunk last night as well, which wasn't pleasant at all. So uh, I'm not best placed with him still. Um, but on the fishing front, I'm glad I've caught two. And Above that, I'm glad I've learned quite a bit about the lake and how the fish are responding at the minute. You know, those slight changes in the tactics seem to repay dividends. So hopefully that will yield a, a few more fish in the, in the next few weeks, but uh, time will tell on that one. <laughs>